is what is called Joy Unlimited. As you all know, Adeniyi Johnson, a Yoruba Nollywood actor, has been battling with some private issues, challenges that has to do with childbearing. He used to be married to Toyin Abraham and things did not work out between both of them. After so long, after so much, Toyin Abraham came out to say during an interview that um, she had been told that both herself and me were not a match, that um, they were not spiritually connected, physically, physically connected, and that they were going to break. Toyin Abraham simply went for probably height and some other things. Well, she also had been having challenges with who to settle down with because she ended up in the bosom of a man who was, um, you know, arrested for stealing iPhone. I'm sure you know the song, iPhone 1, iPhone 2. But then, let's leave that story. It is about Adeni Johnson and Sheye Edo. Today is their day of celebration. I mean, when I say day of celebration, I mean less than 24 hours ago, Adeni Johnson is being celebrated with his wife. Look at the, look at the amount of love Look at the emotion attached to it for a long time. Finally, he has ended up becoming a father. Thank God for God. Thank God for science. Why did I say thank God for God? Thank God for miracles. I'm saying this because a lot of people have spent money on surrogate, spent money on IVF, but they simply, they are simply, you know, they are simply repeating an exercise in futility. Nothing is coming forth. Nothing is happening. Many people have spent so much. And the thing is that when you're looking for a child or looking for anything in life and you are going through different ways and different means to get it, it becomes frustrating when you don't have it. Psychologically, emotionally, there is a lot. It's like all that you do is into it, put into it. Just, just, just look at the amount of love. Look at the amount of love that has been showered on both of them. This is interesting. This is interesting. Yes, finally, finally, finally. I remember there was a time we did some series, you know, just one or two analysis on uh, uh, Adeni Johnson and Sheye Edu when, you know, this story came up, um, Tony Abraham and Tony Abraham's new husband. You know, I, I, they, they, they didn't feel good about it because I could see some of their comments. I mean, from them themselves, they felt that this was something that was emotional. But thank God that this brought something miraculous such as this this is a miracle look at it look at it children are part of uh, you know these blessings that we all celebrate apart from money being sprayed as you can see and for those who are not nigerians and um, you might see this as strange but this is the culture among southwesterners yorubas they spray money this way and um, since they like parties anyway and other parts of nigeria also copied from them look at them both of them are celebrating their day celebrating the birth of their twins beautiful children we thank god for them it is really a thing of joy a thing of joy that is what it is it is so sad that uh, you know challenges in life could bring people down to their knees but all through he has kept on keeping on you see look 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 at friends you know coming to show their appreciation by spraying him money yes they are all friends together they are in the same industry but what, what i saw among some comments some people is this. they said no no that um, he should have allowed money to be sprayed on him directly on his body directly that um, you know you have to be cautious also uh, that he probably could have looked for a place to stand and stay whilst his friends, you know, colleagues come around to spray, to do whatever they want to do, but not money being sprayed on his head, on his body and all of that. But then it is his own personal opinion, personal thing. Um, he knows what to do or what not to do or how he wants, because we don't know. This We are talking about a lot of people involved right now. A lot of people, although they are colleagues, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people, um, they're coming with different types of hands and money and all of that but then this is what it is everyone wants to you know do something everyone wants to do something and uh, that's a lot of love for him guys what are your thoughts are you what are your thoughts are you also you know requesting for this like i did a video one time you know analysis something like this and i and i presented another actress you know that recently gave birth and um, you know we 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 all celebrated together and i said you should use this opportunity if you are looking for 
if you're also an expectant person, if you're also begging God, if you're also seeking the face of God, if you're also calling on God, calling on the universe to bless you, to do this for you. A lot of people have acquired a lot of things in life. If you talk about money, talk about fame, but there is something that is missing in their life. Now, it's not only about women because back in those dark ages, people think when two people are together, man and woman, and there is no child between them, they begin to lambast and begin to pressure, begin to say a lot of things to the woman, not knowing that men could also be with challenges that has to do with giving birth and all of that. It's not when you are you you can get your manhood, uh, you know, you know, erect and all that. That's that's now that's not what makes you a man. At the end of the day, there are a lot of things joined together that makes you a man. That makes you someone in life. I mean, when I say someone, I mean someone who can have children. You see, it's so important. It's so important, and um, that we take note of all of these things. But uh, for those who are expected, like I said. Use this as a point of contact that God can, you know, God should and God can. Let me use the word God will, God will, uh, you know, do for you exactly your heart desire and give to you not children that will now cause you pain, cause you sorrow, you know, create problems all over. Not children that you have to start spending money on and all of that. People have gone to trauma. Some have even gone to meet some spiritualists that have messed them up, you know, try to take advantage of them, want to sleep with them, take their money, tell them to go to some graveyard that they are going to cause some spirits, you know, all of those diabolic and very strange, mysterious things. Many people have gone through all of this. Still, they don't have. And once that have, what they gave to them, they would have wanted never to have had. For them to have what they give to them. Many, many, many had to go to take up, you know, to certain priests to for covenant, for requesting of this. And when they have these children again, these children will not give them peace of mind. They will have to start sacrificing this on that child. You know, there is nothing like the gift of God where you sleep, you wake up without anything. Imagine you have to sacrifice if you don't sacrifice yourself. Where did your mother get you from? Did your mother have problems with children? Yes, they went to beg one deity, and the deity gave them a child. And the deity said they must. Nothing freely is given. You have to, if the child forgets or you forget to go and give some whatever based on the covenant or the promises you made, that child, they will disturb you on it. You see, it's not like what comes to you naturally without you stressing for it. That's why we always pray that we should get it freely, freely without any form of uh, pressure, you know, and all of that. This, is our, this has always been our prayers, you know in life this has been a prayer so like i said and like i've always said whenever we are doing um this analysis such as this uh, we, we we keep saying that you should use this as a point of contact use this just tap into it tap into it tap into it you will be surprised that your happiness and your you know trying to rejoice with them will call great things into your life too and bring you also that your peace of mind that you're also waiting for so congratulations once again to um actor ni johnson and sheyi edu for this great day um celebration uh, you know happiness and just name it just name it yes this is being loved yes one of the best baby you know um, am i going to say dedication uh, it's be it, it became a carnival it became everything yeah it's great good support good support from the guys as you can see um you saw the video guys guys yes his friends men they all turned up turned up like for real, like seriously, this is good. This is wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 beautiful, very impressed, great turnout, great smiles. And, um, you know, it's so it's so great. It's so great. This, this is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, yes, they all came out to show to him that we are also your cloth. Uh, we are also part of it. We are also part of it. We are also with you. And um, you will remain, you know, you know, we will remain with you. Uh, it's so emotional. We thank God that at least when their marriage broke apart, both of them have their children now. What a peace of mind. What a peace of mind. What a peace of mind. So whatever way it is, whichever way it is, in, in whatever way it is that the child came about, the most important is that um, they both have it. Just imagine. Just imagine to be in this world with all your struggle and all of that. You don't have children at the end of the day. You just have to hope for something, at least, if it is for you to adopt a child or something. But when God smiles on you and you are blessed and you, you have what you want, um, it's a beautiful thing. Our prayers are always that our children will, you know, will be 
great and our children will add value to our lives and to themselves rather than becoming a nuisance. What are your thoughts about this one? Like and share, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.